All right, guys, what is going on? Good morning. I have had a lot of requests the last couple days uh, in my comments and all that as far as people wondering how I was able to upload my videos from my Breeze in 1080p as well as how I was able to set my max altitude to a height far greater than what came out of the box. So I figured I'd do this real quick video just to show y'all, give you a quick idea. It literally only takes a second to do. Uh, so here we go. Obviously after you connect to the Wi-Fi network of the Breeze, you're going to uh, go ahead and want to open your Breeze Cam app. And here's your standard home page that you know about. Let's go ahead and talk about first how to change the max altitude. All you're going to go is to your hamburger menu right here. Then go to drone settings. And then here's the first thing you'll always see is the name of your breeze. You can rename it whatever you want. But if you just scroll over to the left, about three pages worth, you'll see a couple of uh, actual interesting settings for the breeze itself. This one right here is actually your takeoff height and default distance, which is once you press flight, how high it'll go and how far away it'll fly in journey. Then you come to your max speed and your return height. And then finally, your max height and max distance. These are all your geofence preferences. I suggest maxing them out just because both are well below uh, FAA standards and requirements. The max height can only go to 262.5 feet. And the max distance from home can only go to 328.1 feet. All well within reason, but it does enable you to collect a lot better footage uh, on the breeze. There's a couple other options here afterwards as far as compass calibration, and if you want those uh, those task confirmations as well. So that's all you have to do as far as the height goes. As far as uploading in 1080p, you obviously do want to make sure in your settings that you do have full HD enabled or UHD enabled whichever you choose obviously with your 4K recording there is no stabilization I usually keep it at FHD just because it does give for a much better picture so once you have that enabled I'm just gonna use one of my old videos I've had from my gallery just to give you a quick idea this is a small file when you go to it you're gonna have a little download icon come up just go ahead and click that and it's going to ask you if you want to download it in the original file size or compressed file. Do the original file. This will give you your 1080 that you were looking for or your 4K that you're looking for, whatever your choice is in the matter. Once it loads up, it will actually give you the option to share it directly from your uh, device. Share. And if you want to pick YouTube or whatever you want to go to, <clears throat> excuse me it'll let you do that but that is it pretty simple I hope this short little video helps y'all out don't forget to thumbs up and comment please always subscribe to this channel I will be uh, be loading up new footage regularly I do appreciate it for all y'all with the unique breeze go have some fun now have a good one